Hello Woodturning community and welcome once again in 2016 to my first installment of this year of the Naked Turner. Um, today I'm going to be turning a small piece of uh, some California Claro walnut. Uh, a friend of mine happened to get some from a neighbor who had uh, pulled their tree down due to some disease and uh, I got a couple of the pieces of it. It is a little bit, um, it's dry but it still has some moisture content because we've been getting some rain and I had this piece sitting outside so uh, I'm going to turn it down into a cylinder and then see what I might think about making out of it once I see what size piece I'm able to get out of this piece of Claro walnut. So uh, without further ado, let's get to turning. Okay, so I have this piece chucked up between my uh, centers here. I've got a step center here and then my live center down here. And uh, I'm going to start by using my roughing gouge. So I'll be starting out using this roughing gouge. Just getting it down into a cylinder. And it looks like it's not going to be a huge cylinder. It'll just be a small cylinder. Alright, and don't forget your safety gear. You know what they say, safety is no accident. Okay, so we're going to... So now I'm going to do something that Brendan uh, Bacon Soda from Ireland showed me, and that is a cut backwards. So I introduce the cutting edge here, and I'm trailing my blade instead of leading. putting less pressure on your spindle so that you don't get as much uh, hop or vibration out of it. This right now is thick enough that I wouldn't have had a problem, but um, I do have a little piece, splinter piece still right there. So. Turned down and sanded to 320. Now I'm going to put a little bit of sanding sealer on it here. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, but now that I'm looking at it, I'm thinking maybe I'll try to make a real small flute, uh, even though I'm not really good at. Uh, I don't know exactly how to space the holes or anything for a flute. I'm just going to try it out and see what happens. Do a through hole and uh, hopefully it'll work out. Sometimes these through holes and stuff like this don't necessarily want to run real straight. So we'll see what happens. 
Okay, so, oh, whoops. So now I've got it grabbed up here with my spigot jaws for this narrow diameter. And that was a nice quick change out. And now I'm going to be working on trimming up this end here. Okay, so I have a 5 8 inch Forsner bit set up here. And I'm just drilling in to this end as far as I can with my Forsner bit. Alright, so now that I've drilled that two and a half inches, I have another drill bit set up here. And what I've done is made a mark as to where it will be when I'm done drilling this entire hole. So, and now I'm going to advance my tail saw. Okay. I probably should have used a quarter inch drill bit as a piloting drill to drill a hole all the way through this and then switch over to this drill bit because as you'll see I got quite a bit of drift in the hole. Maybe I'll be able to turn this into the butt end of the flute and we'll just allow that to be what it is. Oh boy that's kind of too bad. see that but it came out way off center all right okay so now I'm taking my torch and I'm burning the inside
If you're not a subscriber, please take the time to subscribe now. If you are a subscriber, or even if you're not a subscriber, please like and share my videos. It keeps me posting, uh, enables me to make a tiny little bit of revenue stream from creating these videos. So I really appreciate it anytime that you uh, like, share, comment, forward these on to your friends. Uh, it definitely helps me in my endeavor to continue making, hopefully, quality videos that you enjoy and are inspirational. Thanks again for watching.